Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. I've been working on the hot rod but the postie just delivered a parcel for me so I thought it best to take advantage and um, new 600 Holly from Hume Performance has arrived. We're going to do a quick little video. We'll install it on the big VE. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's just the expense and whether I thought the Valiant was worth it. But after the last video, getting it going, I was like, you know, what am I doing, man? This is a good car. Let's um, let's sort this machine out and make it uh, make it great again. And um, so yeah, new 600 Holly. Let's get this thing out of this packet. Check it out. Mm. Yep. So, um, I'm going to do a bit of a series on this thing again and basically just reviving it. So, today, obviously, carburetor. Um, the next video, we're going to put some of our own special shine juice that you can just buy at. Bunnings, your general hardware, um, and we're going to give this thing a coat, which I used to do to this every year, and it's been quite a few years since it's had a coat, and it really makes this thing pop without a massive expense, and it's quite durable. But we'll get into that one when I do that video. So if you're new to the channel, this thing. Um, I built it quite some time ago and I've only just got it back on the road sort of last week after it being sort of dormant for about a year and um, I've always had a carburetor issue since I put this um, 600 on it's just too big I think it's got a little bit of a leaky needle and seat as well because it seems to flood a bit and um, it's very very fumy and I do believe um, this came out of a heap of stuff that a mate of mine got and um, they were all for a fairly worked big block, and this could have been a dual carby setup for a big block, I don't know, but it's it's jetted way too big. So I figured the easiest way to do this is just put this one aside, I'll rebuild it one day, but we'll put a brand new carburetor on it, and we'll get this thing running nice and crisp. Now as far as I'm aware, it's just a stock motor. Um, I'll put the four barrel manifold on it, ages ago. She goes pretty good. She's pretty stout in the 18s They're no, uh, they're no drag engine, but she goes good for like power to weight for this thing. They're only a small car. As you'll uh, you'll see, this is quite an easy job to do. Four bolts, a couple of linkages, fuel hose, and vacuum lines if you've got them connected. And um, swap a Rooney. Voila. Oh, she's pretty. Now, by rights, this should be simple bolt on and go. Um, the right carburetor for this engine for its performance or lack of and uh, it's new or factory reconditioned or whatever they want to call it. And I'm really expecting a significant amount of difference in performance. Um, I think this will be a lot crisper. Won't be as rich.
How good? Cold motor, no choke. Let's go for a spin. I have high expectations, I'm not gonna lie. Well, that was instant. Definite, um, definite difference there. I might have to hold on to this camera because she went flying. of issues tonight my rocket cover gasket's leaking really badly the one I put on the other day so I need to find out what's going on there that might even be split I think just there the actual cover yep big split right there can you see it the washers tore it apart it's elastic time but as far as the carburetor goes I think we're sweet running heaps cleaner no more black smoke so I'm gonna have a bit more of a play with this today I'm not gonna film it but yeah I just wanted to go through the carburetor with you so yeah stay tuned for more on this um, hot rod videos coming out shortly done a fair bit on that since I seen you last and um, I'll see you on the next one take it easy cheers Yeah. 